The Solus Tech SEDE Matrix ST1001 LCD has a new upgraded touch remote control. This short video will show you how to use the touch remote and program a timer schedule for your ballasts. The ballasts are required to be present and turned on with the lamp during setup. To start, we will set the current time. The remote should be in free mode. To do this, touch the Set Timer On-Off button until the screen shows only the top two lines of text. Make sure you have selected a power wattage and it does not say off. Now that you are in free mode, we will set the time. Touch and hold the Set Local Time button for three seconds. The on-screen time display will start to flash. Use the left and right directional keypad to navigate from hour to minutes and use the up-down directional keypad to adjust hours and minutes up and down. Press Boost to complete setup of the current time. It is important to understand when the remote is in free mode, you will see two lines of visible on-screen text or in timer mode, four lines of visible on-screen text. When the remote is in free mode, any time a wattage selection is touched, it automatically sends the sync signal to the ballasts. When the remote is in timer mode, the sync signal must be sent manually by touching the Sync Send button. Free mode simply dims the ballast on the fly with a touch of the wattage selection of your choice. For the 1000 watt SEDE matrix ballast, you can select 600 watts, 750 watts, or 1000 watts. Each wattage selection has the option to boost by 10% at 660 watts, 825 watts, and 1100 watts. During free mode, when you touch a wattage selection, the program is instantly sent to the ballast. You can visually see the sync icon appear when you make the wattage selection. For example, to set your ballast on 1100 watt setting, simply touch the 1000 watt button and then touch the boost button. The ballast should have received the signal for the 1100 watt setting. To set a timer schedule, we must activate timer mode. Touch the set timer on off button until the lower half of the screen appears with timer on and timer off. There should be four lines of visible text. By default, the timer is scheduled to turn on at 6 a.m. and turn off at 6 p.m. Now hold the set timer on off button for three seconds until the timer on time starts to flash. Use the same directional keypad instructions as before to set the timer on and timer off schedules. To complete the timer setup, press boost. It is important to notice that the sync signal has not been sent to any ballast as this action must be performed manually by pressing the sync send button. When touching the sync send button, the sync icon will appear on the screen. Congratulations! Your ballast has now been programmed to follow your custom schedule.